So I ended up going for round two at Dirk's house uh, just to take a look at uh, you know what he's been working on and he showed me some of his pieces and it ends up that he's been using the golden rectangle in the pieces that he's been working on both sculpture and paintings and you know he showed me uh, some of his paintings some of the structures and how he's been layering the golden rectangle how how he's been rotating the golden rectangle how he's been translating the golden rectangle and layering the stuff and putting paintings on and uh, you know getting getting the eye to focus in certain areas on the painting depending on the ratios created by the golden rectangle okay now what we're gonna do right now is bring Dirk out and he's gonna walk us through how he ends up creating the golden rectangle. And we ended up finding a nice tennis court that uh, no, one's, no one's playing on. And uh, it, it, it's gonna work out perfectly for what we wanna do. So what we're gonna do right now is get Dirk to show us how he draws the golden rectangle. And when we start talking about his artwork, this is the image that you should keep in mind. This is the ratios, this is the proportions that you should, you should keep in mind because this is what's embedded in his work uh, that we will take a look at, okay? So we're gonna end up using a few different colors. Hello. Dirk? <laughs> uh, so we're gonna create the gold rectangle on the doubles, on the doubles court side of the tennis courts, I guess. Is that what it is? Yep. What's this called? Yeah, the, yeah, doubles? Double yeah, the doubles side, okay? Okay, 56. So that's 56 inches? Yeah, 56 inches. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So we want another 56 here. Yep. Okay. And I connect them. Are we filling it in? Yep. Cool. So what we got right now is that's a perfect square. So each side is 56 inches. Okay. So now I have to do half of this. Uh, 56 divided by 2. So what we're going to do is divide that each side uh, by 2 uh, and 56 divided by 2 is going to give us 28. So 28 inches. Are we going to connect them? No. 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 So this is like the point right here. Right there. To the corner. So we're going to go from this corner. From the middle. From the middle. Uh, 26 inches out to this corner over here and what that means is this is this ends up being a triangle which is uh 26 inches this way and 50 uh, sorry 28 inches this way and 56 inches that way okay so basically this is if you want to think of it as units this is one unit and that's two units this is half that or this guy is double that so we're going to do the diagonal with yellow uh huh. Uh, well, that's uh, just you know to get, you know, where the where the, where the golden rectangle like ends. Oh, okay. So what? So we're gonna measure this distance. What's that distance? That's okay. all we want, right? Uh -huh. This uh, distance is from from the middle to there. Middle to there is uh, sixty and a half. Okay, sixty, 60 and a, or sixty and a half. Okay, from sixty and a half. Okay, so we go from. Okay, this point is okay, sixty and a half. Oh, hold on. Come back a little bit. A little bit. Okay. So what we did on the diagonal, we went from, where are we? From that corner all the way to this corner over here, whoop. And that line over there ends up being 60 and a half. And we transpose this. So what we've done, we've taken this length here, whoop, all the way to there. So that's what we're doing. We're I'm just going to bring it back again, Dirk. Okay. So we're going... Doop. Cool. So what we're going to do is connect those guys, yeah? So, this is... The golden rectangle. From here... This thing is our golden rectangle, okay? Perfect dimension. It's perfect dimensions. And this is um, the outside and the two, the square and the rectangle that's embedded in his paintings and his works. And what we're going to do now is take this and subdivide it into a smaller golden rectangle. So the way it works is, this is something that Dirk showed me. Uh, 
he takes from that corner to this corner and if you connect up this, these dia this diagonal yeah. so where this connects the diagonal right here is if you bring a parallel line this way right here as soon as you draw that line this rectangle becomes proportional to the bigger rectangle the smaller version of it. it's a smaller version of it okay and all of a sudden we've got a golden rectangle uh, golden rectangle here embedded within another golden rectangle so the diagonal from one end to the other end decides where you draw your line perpendicular here okay that's good yep. okay so all we have to do now is measure that distance from there to there to here exactly. those guys and we've got a parallel line yeah perfect 32.5 32.5 so should we do this in blue yeah okay okay we take this diagonal uh, right here so that's the golden mean you know uh, you know where these two things hit this point right here well, that's the magic point the golden mean right here should we do another diagonal yeah let's do another yeah. diagonal so what we end up doing is now that we have this golden rectangle we take a point from here from the diag from the corners and draw another diagonal coming across so as soon as we draw another diagonal coming this way this point here you're calling this one the golden uh, that's the golden mean this is the golden mean so that's where the focal point of a lot of the paintings a lot of work that the Dirk is doing is going and that's where the balance is for some of the stuff that he's making the structures that he's making and again right now we can create another golden triangle right here because exactly. that point is the same is proportional to this point so if you draw a line here parallel let's do it with pink yeah okay with yeah pink. so right now we have another square and here we have another golden rectangle okay so what we've done right now is have three golden rectangles within each other and you can continue this and for example uh, right now if we do a, we do a yeah okay we're gonna do this thing again so we would go from where to where from here i would go from there to here from here to here and it would divide it up here exactly and you would have another one here that's right ah that's cool let's do that let's do it here let's just put it here so that i can easily so right now we've got four golden rectangles spiraling in on itself and you can continue this indefinitely for infinity really and it just continues on continues on and what will happen will it come to the focal point here yes it'll it'll spiral spiral it'll spiral, spiral exactly all the way down to all here all the way down to there okay so i can you know it's rather uh, rather spiral the spiral would, uh, would be from 53 and a half like that if you take that like this okay okay that would be one okay yeah okay, so so you want to copy that so we're just going to make a little doohickey, chalk on the end with a rope, and so we can make the spirals, right? Okay. So I'm going to go right here. You just uh, draw the line. From here. Yep. Uh, erase that corner. So I'm going to keep the stretch on it. Yep. One. One. Hold on a second. Let me do a little erase on this deal. Good enough. Good. Let's do the next one. Next one is, the focal point is there, the center. Okay. So from here, we've got one spiral coming in. We're going to connect another one going down. Ready? Yeah. Boop. Perfect. Okay. Let's do okay. one more. One more. Well, there's more. I mean, this is just, you know, one more. We have to do one more. Yeah. And then one more. And then one more. Then it's like a perfect. So we did a flip when we put the box here. So we're going to do the diagonal here. Perfect. And then you just continue. Okay, now, okay, with this line intersects, you can make one right here. And then this guy would go here. You would do another one from here. Exactly. And then you would go there. I should grab the camera and bring it back. So I hope, I hope this makes sense. What we're going to do right now is I'm going to bring the camera down and we're going to zoom into this area. So we're going to continue the little spiral. Let me just do a zoom on it or. So what we did 
uh, was we flipped our golden rectangle based on the other ones, right? So we took another diagonal this way, which is legit. We, you can 100% do it, right? But what we wanted to do is create the, uh, create the spiral. So what we did was take the connection of this line and the diagonal this way to break up this rectangle. And all of a sudden, we just connected up what we needed to create the spiral, right? And all we do now is this diagonal this way connects up here and it breaks up this thing in a perfect square. Oh, you got to draw another line from yeah. here. That's right. That's always, right. Always a line. Always a line. So you got to always draw a line and always, and this thing continues and it's just going to spiral, 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 spiral at this point. Yeah, like okay. Endless. Works perfectly. Yeah. yeah. Endlessly small. Endlessly small. Now, one way that I know of the golden rectangle of the spiral is I work like Dirk, when he does his artwork, he creates the rectangle and works in. What I end up doing and what the way I know the golden rectangle is I work from the inside and I work out. And the way that works is what we're going to do, maybe we'll fill up, fill up the boxes and I'm going to show you how that looks. Okay.